Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, uh, we will be coding in Android using Kotlin as our main programming language and we will be uh, tackling the activity lifecycle. So we will have a demo and I will upload the source code in my GitHub and put it in the description so that uh, you can uh, check it. So first, you should open the Android Studio and let's create a new project. I'll be selecting empty activity then click next here you uh, you can select whether uh, which programming language you want so I'll be using Kotlin and uh, the minimum SDK your uh, Android application application would run so I'll be choosing Lollipop and I'll make this one Android demo So just click uh, finish and it will already build the Gradle and prepare your uh, project. So once it is already finished building, uh, you will see your project files here on the left side. And here on the workspace, so you can see here our main activity .kt since we are using Kotlin and our main activity underscore main XML which have our design so what we will be doing now is to uh, simulate the Android life cycle in terms of activity so here is the diagram on how Android activity um, flow so when you act launch an activity you need to have the on create the on create uh, will run first and then after that uh, it will call the on start and then on resume after that uh, if there is no activity uh, on pause will be called and then on resume again if there is another user activity user activity pertains to uh, interaction in the split in the screen so once uh, the activity is no longer in your screen it will go on on stop and then uh, it may be when uh, go to background and it can be uh, go to restart or on create again and then on destroy once um, it is already finished or you uh, open a new app and then the activity will shut down so let's um, uh, check this one on how it flows using uh, actual coding so what we have here is the uh, text view so in our uh, screen you will just have a text view there and in our uh, main activity we will be implementing all the callback method so that we can observe the flow so uh, on create is automatically uh, existing kasi kailangan siya sa code or kailangan siya na activity or required siya for the activity to start because dito nyo ilo-load yung uh, set content view wherein you will you will be loading yung uh, design ng inyong screen so other than this one uh, the other uh, callback method here is optional it's up to you kung lalagay nyo siya and uh, kung gag may gagawin kayo sa certain uh, stage dito ng activity so you can uh, code this one and put your uh, custom code there so what we will be doing is to uh, implement all and we will just uh, observe what happened to our activity when we uh, navigate in our application since uh, we will not be doing anything uh, inside uh, this on start callback method we will just call the super on start so that uh, we can call we will the uh, parent constructor will execute paren and then we will just be putting lag here so lag dot d so lag dot d allows you to uh, display uh, messages here in the lag cut once nagaran ni application natin sa emulator or sa actual device ta connected sa ating uh, PC so lag dot d and then the first parameter is the tag wherein uh, you can put 
uh, uh, message tag here para pag lumabas siya dito sa vlog cut, ma- mabilis siya makita. So, I'll put demo. Then, kama is the message na you want to display or uh, put. So, on start talaga ko. So, calling on start. So, sin- uh, kaya ito naka-red, si hindi pa na-import yung ano, uh, log. So, wrong spelling pa. So, click nila yung log dot D. Ayan. So, hindi pa siya na-import uh, alt enter shortcut or kung gusto nyo yung manual type is android util dot log. Android dot util dot log. So, import nyo lang yun. So, we will be doing this one to all uh, callback methods. So, lagyan lang natin to ng comment. Since we will not do anything here, we need to run the ano, constructor ni superclass. No? So, we will be uh, implementing this on all. So, on restart. Then, just uh, update everything. So, since we are copying and pasting codes, make sure to uh, update everything now. So, on resume next. copy on resume then next on pause so let's call the on pause method next is um, on stop so let's uh, code the on stop on stop And then, on destroy. So, we already implemented all the callback method. Let's run this one. So, the log will this be displayed here once we already run the application. Let's uh, open our emulator. So, I'll be running this one. So, make sure that if you're, you will be using emulator, uh, your emul emulator SDK uh, is or API is greater than dun sa sinet nyo sa project kanina. Kasi if not, it, uh, your project will not be able to run here. So, I'll make this one... Uh, float. So, window mode, float, or window. So, that it will be displayed in a new window. And let's resize. Uh, our project here. Size, size. Then there you have it. Uh, let's now the emulator is now ready. So let's run the application. So as you can see, there's already lags here. And so if you want to focus only on the bug, you can filter it. Verbos will display you everything. So let's uh, try to run our application. <coughs> so your application will be built and then it will be installed on the selected uh, what do you call this uh, emulator or um, Android phone that is connected to your uh, PC or machine so I'm having a problem here again so it says launching up but uh, it doesn't display anything So let's uh, clean the previous. Uh, so let's cancel, cancel, and let's run this again. So there you have it. Uh, our uh, application already run. So if you notice here, uh, the demo already 
displayed so to filter out input demo there uh, however there's many demo no since our android uh project is also demo so you can see here let's uh, rename the tag so that uh, we can filter out them and observe kung ano nangyayari so I'll stop the application and then let's uh, run this again so if you're using Intel it should be uh, uh, faster I believe so AMD has some problem with dealing with emulators and then uh, uh, virtualization so uh, sometimes can like stack up shop like this one it says running pero wala naman so stop then cancel so you may wait a few minutes so that uh, it could refresh the resources then let's run this again So there you have it. Uh, our application is already there. So let's search for the dash dash demo. So as you can see, uh, it calls the on start and on resume. We haven't put the log here. So on create muna dapat yung matatawag niya. So ilagay natin yung on create dito. And hey, if stop then and iran then ulit natin. So nakalimutan natin siya ilagay. No? Yeah, so one click lang nag na. So, as you can see, uh, it calls the on create and then on start. Tapos non on resume. So, since uh, we don't have any activity here in the screen, uh, we cannot uh, do the on post on resume flow. Uh, maybe I'll just exit this one. I click the home button. So, as you can see, it go to on post and then it will go on stop. So on post and then it will go on stop since the uh, activity is no longer available as a screen. And then if you uh, click on the recent uh, application then click the app again, it will call the on restart and then start again and then resume. However, if you click the back button, since uh, we only have one screen, pag click natin yung back button, it, uh, you may consider it as exit no? So as uh, it will call the on pause again, on stop and on destroy. Yeah. So if you open, uh, click on the recent app again and then open the application, it will call the on create again. Then on start, on resume. Since this back button can be considered as exit also. So let's try to click the home button and on pause and on then open other application. Let's say. We open the messages and and then open again the uh, recent app and then select our demo and so we just call on restart on start and on resume so that's how your um, Android lifecycle activity works uh, sa phone natin and next is uh, I will be implementing moving from one activity to another so tinatawag natin yung explicit uh, intent wherein we are the one specifying kung saan pupunta yung uh, intent no kasi there are implicit intent wherein if you click it will call the default uh, email app it will call the message default message app etc no so see you on the next video uh, sa continuation nito